Hi, my name is Christina Ray, and I lost 95 pounds in a little less than eight months. I've maintained it for a year and almost a week coming up. And I've got a few helpful things um, in my videos that should hopefully help you, like they did me, um, be able to get all the way to your goal and maintain your weight loss. One of the biggest things that people have a problem with is creating a goal sheet or creating their own goals. Everybody wants to take the easy way out and say, Okay, well, I want to lose five pounds this week, five pounds next week, 10 pounds is a goal, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds. They don't have appropriate mini goals set up. Now, I always use this same analogy because it's what worked for me. Say you're going to get in the car, and if you're like me and you have a million kids, you're going to get in the car and you're going to take a road trip across country. I'm from California. I live in South Carolina. Let's say that I'm going to take my kids and we're going to get in the car and we're going to drive all the way to California. But here's the catch. No cell phone, no GPS, no map, no map quest, no directions. Now, and oh, hold on. And I've never done this before. Okay. So if you're going to do that, you're crazy. Because you, first of all, need to know certain things, especially on like a five-day road trip is what that probably would end up being with that many kids or even with just adults. You're going to want to know where hotels are. You're going to want to know where gas stations are in case you run out of gas. You're going to want to know um, where restaurants are to eat at. You're going to want to know all of the details of the trip, which freeways or interstates or highways or whatever the heck you call it where you live, where those are, which ones to take. You need to know these things. You need to map out your trip and you need to have little individual things in order to get you to where you're going. So we need to map out your journey on your weight loss road trip is what it is. So instead of doing, here are, here's my mini goals, five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds. That doesn't work. Why? Because you're totally expecting it. You know it's about to come. You lose track. It's not exciting. I don't care what you say, those goals, anybody can come up with those. That's anybody's weight loss goal is to lose 20 pounds and then 25 pounds. It's just not fun. You need your goals to be fun. You need them to be personal. So here's what I'm about to tell you. I had a wonderful talk uh, with one of my clients that lives in Minnesota the other day. She has seven children. She's crazy like me. So um, she was like, I want to, you know, have weight loss goals. So I told her, I said, okay. I said, tonight I want you to call me back and tell me what your mini goals are going to be. She goes, mini goals? I said, yeah. She goes, you really think I need them? I only have 50 more pounds to lose. Yes, 50 pounds is a lot of weight for anybody to lose. Of course you're going to need those. So she's like, okay. So then a couple hours later, I get a text message and it has, okay, week one, lose five pounds. Okay, week two, lose five pounds. Okay, three and four, lose five pounds. No. So I changed them. I said, okay. I said, Allie, can you do me a favor? She said, sure. I said, will you send me your kids' birthdays? And she said, well, they range anywhere from January to September. I said, send me your kids' birth years then. She said, okay. So she sends me her kids' birth years, and I believe they were, I could probably look it up, but I believe they were 1994, 1996. <sighs> Gosh, 1994, 1996. Anyways, there's seven of them. I don't know how she keeps track of it. I sure as heck can't with all my kids on top of that. So they range from 2000 or from 1994 to 2012. So she obviously has a lot of good um, little pinpoints to use. So what did I do? I told her, okay, fine, 1994, take the last two digits of that. We've got 9.4 pounds is what you're gonna, your first mini goal is gonna be. And that's gonna represent her oldest child, okay? So the next one's gonna be 9.6 pounds less than that because it's 1996. And I wanna look up the other ones just so I can tell you and know exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on one second. Um, Ellie? All right, so they were, 1994, 1996, 2004, 2007, 2008, 2011, and 2012. Okay, so 1994, 1996, that was minus 9.4 pounds, then minus 9.6 pounds. Not total minus 9.6. It was 9.6 less 
than it was at 9.4. Then 2004 would have been another 4 pounds. 2007 would be another 7 pounds. 2008 would be another 8 pounds. 2011 would be another 11 pounds. And then 2012 would be 12 pounds after that. And it was like right at her 50 pound mark, which was funny. Um, it put her right at her goal using all of her kids' birth years. So then the next thing is you need to have some kind of um, time frame put on it. That's what turns a dream into a goal is by actually having a time frame on it. So she says, well, what kind of time frame should I look at for these? Okay, well, if you use Metafast little thing, one to two pounds a week or two to five pounds a week, most people lose at least two pounds a week. Yes, you're going to have really bad weeks where you're going to have 0.6. I had those and I still lost 95 pounds in a little less than eight months because the next week I made up for it as long as you don't cheat. So if you say... She has birthdays between January and September. Well, unfortunately, here we are in the middle of October. Her kids don't have any more birthdays. But guess what? There's a ton of holidays coming up. So here we have uh, Halloween in another two weeks. And we've got Thanksgiving. Then we've got Christmas. You know, there's tons of little pinpoints that you can use. But on top of it, if you don't have kids and you don't have the way of using kids' birthdays, I'm sure you have a boyfriend or a husband or a dog or a grandma or a mom or a sister or a brother. Somebody in your life has to have a birthday. Or there's got to be a significant date somewhere in your life that you can totally use as a goal date. So use their birthdays as goal dates. Use birth years as, goal, as little mini goal markers for this is how much you want to lose. Other ideas for mini goals. What does your driver's license weight say? Mm, mine always said like 180 when I was like 240. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, a couple other ones I used um, pre baby weight, baby number four, pre baby weight, baby number three, two, one, same thing. Um, I used weight when I got married. I used um, a ton of them. And then I had to make up my own as I got lower because I'd never been those weights. So. You kind of come up with crazy numbers and you want them to be off the wall where you can't really remember them 100%. You have to look them up and remember what they are. Like for Allie, hers were minus 9.6. So 9.6, she I won't say her starting weight, but you would take 9.6 pounds off of exactly what she was this morning and that would be her next start. And then at that weight, it would be 9. Point, or sorry, 9.4, the first one, 9.6 off the bottom of that one. So that's how you're going to do your goals. You need to have the exact weight off to the side. So if it's 9.6 minus, say you were exactly uh, 200 pounds, you need to go 200 pounds nine, minus 9.4 and minus 9.6 equals, and then that exact weight. And you have that number highlighted so you know which weight you have to get to. And then that number minus the next mini goal and the weight that it equals that you're going to get to. If you don't have them specifically laid out and in front of your face all the time, it's so easy to get lost. It's like a road trip. If you're not looking at your map, you're not looking at your GPS, you don't have Wanda or whatever the heck her name is talking to you on, you know, your TomTom, -tom, you're going to get lost. And then you're going to be like, crap, now I have to reroute and it's going to cost you more money in gas or more money in food or more time. Get your button gear. Get yourself some good goals. If you need help setting goals, please contact me. If you want to lose weight, need help, if you need some motivation in your life, please give me a call, text, or email. My name is Christina Ray. I lost 95 pounds in a little less than eight months. I've kept it off for over a year with a program called Take Shape for Life. And now I'm a certified health coach with Take Shape for Life, helping other people use that program the exact same way that I did and lose weight healthy and Oh, every single awesome way that I could possibly describe. It changed my life. It can so change yours. My phone number is listed below this video in case you can't see it for some odd reason. It's 864-381-9049. Again, 864-381-9049. Or email me at coachmechristina at gmail.com.